wasn't going to film this as like a video, but I was going to just to sit down at my desk and play around uh, swatching out um, these art supplies from a recent Jackson's haul. And yeah, so basically, I thought I'll just switch on the camera and share that with you because I know many of you wanted to see the swatches and I myself included love seeing swatches, swatch videos on YouTube. So let's go. I just washed out this brush so it's ready to go. It had that um, gamma arabic um, solution on there to make it, to make the bristles nice and hard so they don't break uh, during the transportation um, after you buy them and so it's nice and soft I noticed that it's a lot softer than the one that I showed you before so these bristles um, feel quite sort of plasticky and a lot harder than these these feel super soft so yeah can't wait to play around with it and I can see it comes to the finest point imaginable again have to thank Irit for using it all the time okay so let's just jump into this okay so pentel for those of you who are new i am obsessed with these i have uh, two others the sepia and the gray color so when they're new you have to untwist to the direction of the arrow on the sticker remove the red ring stick it back in and now do the opposite twisting and then do quite a bit of pumping in terms of the paper that I will be using today for swatching it's the Canson XL paper oh, trying not to fall off the chair to reach it to show you guys so this one here it's the 300 GSM paper and it's got nice texture okay so all I've done is just cut a sheet into four squares and then used my corner punch to round up the corners because I like to keep them as cards on my desk in a little tray it inspires me seeing different swatches and color palettes and all of that okay so I'm just squeezing now and I'm seeing the ink coming straight through so this time it was nice and easy I'm gonna squeeze it again until I see the brush saturated. So this is olive green. Straight off, I'd say it's more of a um, moss, or not moss, but like a forest green, I think there's a name for it. Let's just use a bit of water. Where's actually, where's my water brush? Mm-hmm. As you can tell, I did not prepare for this video in any shape or form. Right, so let's just grab a brush that I can find. And with a bit of water. Right, so I would not call this olive green. To me, it's definitely more of a forest green. So... It's a lovely color, I suppose. Just it needs to be more olivey to be olive green. So that's the color. And obviously you can see you can go from the darkest of it to the lightest. like so and create lovely watercolor effects with it so that would be that um, this is the color I was looking for as you can see the cap color is a true olive green there are some aspects of olive green here and there but not when it's watered out for sure and then this is a little bit too dark to see the, the olive green. Anyway, let's move on. So that's that. Um, next pencil I have here is the Meadow. Um, I got a whole set of these Dervid Grafton and I don't want to swatch this one out 
just because it's new. So let me grab my pencil set. I will do a separate video because I want to dedicate a whole video to swatching out all of these. Uh, but today I'm just going to swatch out the this pencil here, the meadow. So graftons, they're they're quite interesting. So they're, they're supposed to be like graphite pencils, graphite lead. They're water soluble, um, and so let's see what that means. Wow, my goodness, I did not expect this. That is super super beautiful. The pigment in this is stunning. I honestly cannot tell you, just from this first experience of swatching it, uh, whether I can see the difference between this and a like a colored pencil and a watercolor pencil. Uh, I wonder what the graphite part in this is. One of my um, subscribers recommended to try this technique where you just use the pencil straight from the um, from the tip with a brush that you get a lot more saturation that way and yeah it looks really pretty what I want to try now is just wetting the paper and then letting it dry a little bit and then just drag the pencil across it and see what we can get while we're doing this actually I want to play around with the other two colors and just see how they would mix together. Have a little bit of fun. Okay, so to the left we have sepia and let's just mix those colors together. And to the right we have gray and they mix beautifully. Okay, so now let's try this one. So I'm going just to take the dry pencil and drag it into the wet area just to see how different it would look. There you go. So you can see that they become so much more vibrant when hit with water. So I guess you have that flexibility of using it on its own, it doesn't rub off if you wanted to, or, you know, you could also use it with water. I also quite like that you can rub off the, um, let's see, the marks from the graphite almost completely. I didn't go up here, I just did it here and you can see they're hardly visible. So that's quite good. Um, all right, let's move on to the next one. Super excited to swatch out the entire set of that, that um, graph tint. So we've done this one. Let's do the pencils again. So I'm gonna use the Caran d'Ache Museum Aquarelle. So these are quite pricey. They are the artist great watercolor pencils. And this is color umber. And then I have a color. I need to look up what this one is. What is it? Okay, so because this one doesn't have a um, name written in it, I had to look up the um, order. And so it says olive yellow. So that's the color that we have here. It's quite pretty. The, the one that I wanted to get, which I saw in Irit's video and she let us know in the comments, it's the green ochre, I think it was. So I definitely want to get that next time. Okay, so this is good for um, like a skin tone. 
this is quite pretty actually it's more more vibrant than I thought it would be so let's see what I want to do as well is just oop, make sure it's all clean water I just want to do these kind of similar swatches that I did there anyway next color we have light malachite green that looks quite pretty oh yeah that's a color to have and hold on many of you let me know how to pronounce it viral viral green anyway um, I hope I got closer this time and let's see oh this is so pretty this is like straight up cobble teal watercolor very nice it's on a light side not too pigmented and this is a great turquoisey green I'd say so let's do a little wet patch here and I'm gonna go back in to see what it looks like dry and then drag it through and you can see the difference and I'll do the same with this color and then light malachite green And finally this one, the beryl green. The water has dried out here a little more. Anyway, so you get the idea. These are quite pretty colors. I actually like the uh, was it umber drag through water. I think it looks a lot more interesting. And yeah, beautiful, beautiful colors. Okay, we're done with the pencil portion, and now let's go into the. I'll do the watercolors last. So let's see. Uh, let's go into the crayons. This can dry for now. So these are the new colors that I have added to my collection. Thanks for my viewer suggestions. So let's just, oh, this is a gorgeous peach. I'm just going to swatch them to begin with. So this was the orangish yellow. This one is saffron. Next one is Vermilion. They look beautiful together, don't they? And then we have the Cools, which I'll start with this one, or the olive green actually. This one is Olive. Then we have the Jade Green. And then they seem a little bit different, but they are called the same way. Light cobalt blue hue. One seems a bit more of a blue and the other one seems a bit more of a green. Yeah, they're definitely slightly different. So, sorry, not green. I meant to say blue and like a lilac. Can you see that in the camera? Oh yeah, you definitely can see it. There you go. There's a slight difference to them not sure why um, so let's just do the swatches now this looks quite beautiful saffron oh my goodness saffron is actually a lot more interesting once diluted in water I find Vermilion is a great bright color. 
the pigments are fabulous in these crayons. Okay, olive. Yeah, so this is a true olive, you see? That's exactly what I'm expecting when I'm buying a product that is labelled olive. So in fact, somewhere in between mixing sepia with this so-called olive green is where we want to be. Can you see that? So I could mix a true olive myself, having the sepia as well, and then kind of, you know, have two colours, but there you go, that's, if I hold up these two, you can see that's olive and the other one is definitely not. Alright, next one we have got is the jade green. This is beautifully milky. I find some of them are more opaque and milky, kind of pastel looking, and others are more transparent. So, oh, oh, I see. They confused it. They sent me near color one, which is uh, a not. It's a wax olive pastel, and this one is the. Neo Color 2 Aquarelle. Okay, that makes sense why there is a slight difference in color. Okay, I don't mind having this one. So they're not repeated. So you can see the same color in Neo Color 1 and Neo Color 2. So this is water soluble. Okay, so that works well. Now, what I want to try next is just doing these water swatches. Or just little puddles and I want to drag the crayons through that so we start on this side and we go into the water okay Okay, some of them starting to get a bit dry, so I'm just going to revet them. There you go. And then lastly, we have got this one. These two are not as interesting when dragged through the water, but the others are pretty, pretty beautiful, especially, I'd say, the saffron and the olive. I love how they're moving, and also that slight color difference you get when they're wet. There is no color difference in these two, or this one, I'd say. But quite pretty. Very pretty. Okay, let's speed up because now we're getting to the most exciting part, which is watercolour. Not to say that the other parts have not been exciting, of course, for all of us, all things art supply lovers. So I'm going to put these aside somewhere else to dry, get a new piece of paper ready, and here is what I'm going to do. So I've got five new watercolors to play with. Very, very excited about that. And what I'm going to do is just probably actually go straight onto the paper. So this is the uh, Mission Gold June Brilliant number two, and it's supposed to be transparent. And then this is June Brilliant number one. I should have probably done it the reversed order, but it doesn't, doesn't matter. And uh, it is yeah semi-transparent then we have Schmincke gold brown I kind of was under the impression that I really well I wanted to get this color and that I thought I already got it but I looked through all of my tubes and I didn't have it so I was really surprised and decided to go ahead and order it Amazonite genuine oh no 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 don't escape Okay, I'll have to use it up for other projects from this card. Oh no, I don't like when they ooze out like that because you waste so much pigment. Anyway, okay, 
So the last one was cobalt teal blue. Right, so let's go ahead and so these uh, I'm not entirely sure how transparent this is supposed to be, but well, you can get quite transparent, but it's definitely milky. Um, these are great, these two colors are great for sort of like flesh tones, I'd say. Um, sort of on the peachy side, one is more pinky peach, and the other one is more of a true peach, I'd say. Um, they're really flattering, beautiful colors to have in your watercolor palette, especially if you are into portraits or illustrating faces. Now this is a gorgeous brown. <laughs> this is this is what browns should be like. Super saturated, really beautiful. Love, love, love it. I don't remember if it's a granulating one, but it's beautiful. It's PY65 and PBR41. I'm kind of sort of seeing a little bit of granulation already. It's stunning, love this color. Okay, and then we have the Amazonite Genuine, so it's one of those um, Primatech colors. And it's a gorgeous, beautiful, slightly grayish turquoise, or like a muted, but not too muted. It's a stunning. If you love turquoises, I mean, look at those two colors together. Isn't this a match made in heaven? Absolutely love it. And you can start seeing some sort of granulation forming here. And then finally, cobalt teal blue. Probably most of us already have this color. Somehow I didn't have it by Daniel Smith. I have a few colors which are like this uh, from Core and Schmincke, and so and also from Winsor and Newton. But yeah. It was time to add the Daniel Smith to this load as well. So the color palette, as you can see, stunning. Straight up, I could just use all of these five colors in a painting and be pretty happy. So love, love, love. Now, before we go, um, I wanted to have a little play with this brush just to, just to have a bit of fun, really. So I'm just gonna use Oh, let's see if I can use a bit of this color like that. Oh, this is like the thinnest lines. So I need to practice a little bit here. But from my understanding is it's all about getting the right proportion of a color. Obviously you need like a flatter dish or something where you can mix up the right color rather than picking it up from your nib. And then, you know, you can just sort of play and have fun really. There you go. So you can create lovely little bits and pieces in sort of no time. And then if you really wanted to, you could, I guess, push this brush onto its belly and create a wider swatch range. It's really soft. It's beautiful to play with. Um, let's see if I can add oh, a little bit more. Because it is soft brush, it um, holds a fair amount of water in there. Isn't that beautiful? So I just added that Schmincke, what is it, brown gold? Gold brown into cobalt teal blue. There you go. Oh my gosh, love this color palette. Um, all right, so now I am going to edit this video ready for you. So thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. Let me know what uh, you fancied most or what you liked. Or maybe something I didn't show, something that you already have, but like in a different color. We always love reading each other comments and sharing our knowledge. So thanks for watching. See you soon.